A former fugitive accused of making millions in an elaborate real estate scam has reached a plea agreement with federal prosecutors. Mileka Lincoln has the details from district court. Representing herself, 48-year-old Jennifer McTeague pleaded guilty this morning to five of the 45 counts she was facing, including wire fraud, mail fraud, money laundering, and conspiracy charges. Tearing up as she addressed the judge, McTeague said, quote, I feel I must take responsibility for people being damaged. That's why I'm here today to plead guilty. McTeague and her two co-conspirators, Mark Melton and Sakara Blackwell, are accused of acquiring properties from distressed homeowners and falsifying agreements with them to appear as if their loans had been paid off. Prosecutors say they then sold the properties, raking in more than $3 million. Both pled guilty and had agreed to testify against McTeague at her trial, which was scheduled to begin today. Instead, McTeague accepted responsibility for her role in the real estate scheme. The FBI really want to commend the prosecutors for negotiating this plea agreement at the last minute. It was a hard-fought, uh, very contentious litigation leading up to this, and it really speaks volumes about our U.S. Attorney's Office here and how hard they work to resolve these matters short of a trial, saving the taxpayers the cost of an expensive litigation. McTeague's bail was revoked after she failed to appear for a June 30th pretrial hearing, leading a judge to issue a bench warrant for her arrest that resulted in a manhunt involving the U.S. Marshals and FBI. She was later found high hiding in a friend's house. McTeague faces a maximum penalty of up to 20 years in prison. Her sentencing has been scheduled for the end of October. Mileka Lincoln, Hawaii News Now. To whether now, and it was